Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a separated glitch effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! So today I want to do a fun tutorial on how to do a glitch effect, more importantly a separated glitch effect using some draw mask tools in Final Cut Pro 10. So to make life easier, I have a scene right here of me posing in my championship belt because I am the people's champ jabroni. And I didn't have a lot of movement in here when I'm doing the draw mask. So keep be aware that if you have a lot of movement, you will be using more keyframes and moving the object. So I'm trying to keep it simple to show you guys what's up. First things first, once you have your scene here and your timeline, I'm gonna copy it. I'm going to hit option, hold down option on my keyboard and lift up on my mouse and I've duplicated what I have. From here, we're going to bring the point all the way to the beginning and we're going to come over here to mask and we're going to use our draw mask tool, baby. Hey Carter. Now we're going to draw a mask outline around us. Click here. Now it's cool to not, to give it some space. You don't want to be right up on it. I do want to keep some space yeah. around me. That's right, Carter. Carter, we, Carter, chill. And, I bet, and you're gonna continue. I got my toddler in the background. But it's still quality content, baby. You're gonna go around your object. Or person or yourself. Easy peasy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the draw mask and we're gonna change the feather to 100 because everything we do we keep 100, baby. And we're gonna go down to compositing and we're gonna darken that, which is perfect. Then it transforms. This is where we're gonna add our keyframe where the position is. And we're gonna click that button right there. And we are gonna hit the right arrow key on our keyboard and just track our object. Now in this case, I'm not moving much, so I don't have to move around. This is why I said, if you have a scene where you're not moving the most, you will benefit because you don't have to do all this key tracking and key framing. Hoorah. All right, so I got my keyframe there. Now let's add the fun stuff. Now you guys can get crafty. I've seen some people use, um, what is it, bad TV, which is cool if you want to throw that on top of it. So we can do bad TV. We'll start with this. So let's pick some spots. First of all, we're going to change the static type to TV static. Or we can do the white noise. I like the white noise better for real, but you guys can do as you please. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna do white noise for real. All right, so we're gonna start at zero. And we're gonna add another keyframe key where the bad TV is. We're gonna click that, make that diamond yellow. And I like to move over a few frames, maybe 12 frames, and then increase to like 81 percent and then move over for a few and then at 19 drop it back to zero keep moving it through and then increase it back up for a few then drop it down. You see what I'm doing? I'm making a pattern using the keyframe. So it glitches in and out. Back to zero. And we're good. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty neat. Let's say you want to get even more crafty. You want to scale it up. Let's see what we got. I think I got this other. Um, I got so many stuff I've downloaded over the years. This is like when I make used to make music video days. 
Oh, let's get let's get weird, y'all. I got this cool one right here. Let's add that on top. Oh yeah, let's get let's see let's see what's goody. And then we're gonna intensify it. This is a bonus. I want to add another layer. So I'm actually hit option and copy that. But I'm at I'm gonna add this effect on top. Oh yeah. Hey, don't say that. And I'm only, I'm only gonna chop what I want. So it's gonna go here. Boom. And I'm only gonna add it a little bit of times. That looks cool. And I just winged this. I wasn't even gonna teach this, but I just want you to show the possi show the possibilities of what you can do when you're doing this. And we go here. Oh yeah. Now the last thing I want to add, it looks cool, huh, Carter? Is a static sound effect. And I know this is TV static, so I'm a attach the audio. And you guys can download static on YouTube, what have you. And every time the static comes, hey, hey, leave that there. I hear you, Carter. Carter, leave it there, please. Thank you. I'm almost done. Okay. I'm almost done. You guys can add the static accordingly. Oh yeah, that, that works good. So, so when you start seeing it flourish, that's when we add the noise like right here. Do like that. And this, hope this makes sense to you. Um, had a lot of idea sex just now while I was doing the editing for you. And that's what it's all about. It's all about igniting. Okay, baby. It's all about igniting your creativity. And um, when you do these, and then let's watch the final. Oh yeah. That's pretty fire. And that's how you do a separated glitch effect on steroids. Get creative, add your spices and essence to it, and have fun with it because at the end of the day, this is all fun. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please smash that like button for me. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this one, as well as unboxings and gear reviews and filmmaking tips and tricks, hit that red button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya!